I'm Sharon from I Restore Stuff and today I'm going to be using Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint for the very first time. Let's go play. So here it is, shipped all the way from the USA via my wonderful sister and sister-in-law and um, they've got some beautiful colours but I picked these four for my sister-in-law to send for me and we're going to start today on a wonderful piece of furniture that I found on the in a garage sale on the side of the road for 10 bucks. It's awesome and it's going to look great with this colour and I know some people say don't start with tricycle red, it's really tricky, but let's be daring. So there it is, tricycle. Okay, so let's open the box. And I'm so glad I got these boxes because Miss Mustard Seed's now selling her product in little plastic packets. We've got instructions there. And plastic bag sealed with the milk paint. Okay, so the instructions say to use mix one and a half parts of warm water to one part of milk paint powder. So I'm going to do that right now and I'll measure it with my trusty measuring cup and I have a cup of water here. So let's just open the paint and I'm going to use three of those spoons because I've got one cup of paint I just want to use a little a less than one cup because it's you know one and a half cup. So I hope I'm getting going to put the water in which it's warm water and we'll see how we go with my stirring stick which I'm going to use a whisk and I won't use this for beating the eggs I promise anymore this is going to be my painting whisk yeah we might have to just yep, look at powder all over the bottom so I might just have to use a spoon or a knife or something like a stirring stick to get this powder in there this is really weird. Oh hey, I can see some water. I think we're getting somewhere. Okay, this is where we practice patience. And unlike your other paints, this hardly has any odor at all, so it's actually It says on her instructions it takes about three to five minutes to mix in, which is probably about what I've taken. It just seems like it takes a long time, but it's about this consistency. So I'm just hoping that's right. Okay, so all we need now is a paintbrush. Let's see how this works. So here it is. Here's the lovely piece I found. Um, and the lady who I bought it from had done some kind of Japanese wood varnish kind of thing on it, but it looks a bit dodgy anyway, her paint job. So I'm going to just go over it with some milk paint. So it's not as if it was some valuable piece that would have, you know, been great left as wood. So I thought it was a good piece to, um, to start with. And it's got a nice dark colour, so the milk paint actually starts to peel away. It should look really excellent. So if you've seen Miss Mustard Seeds tutorials, you'll see that the milk paint starts to chip away really nicely. Yep, it's looking really runny. Um, I think that's normal. It's scary. Okay, so here's where I start thinking, ah, what would Miss Mustard Seed do? It's just kind of running down the, down the side of the thing. I'm thinking that I may have it a little bit runny. So I'm starting to panic now. I'm thinking I might have to go back and add some more powder to this runny red paint. Okay, I'm working on my second coat now and I had to, I felt like I had to add another teaspoon of powder to the milk paint mixture because it was very runny. Um, as you can see, I've started the second coat here. It's coming all a lot redder now, whereas the first coat here and down the sides, it's just, almost looking pink, kind of like I've rubbed some chalk on the top of some dark wood paint. So I think the second coat should be going 
nicely and we'll see if it needs a third one after that. You know what else I found? I found that um, there was a few little lumps and some grooves on the side of this container, on the bottom of the container. So it probably didn't mix the first one in as well either, so there's something to look out for. Um, but I, I'm happy with that, I think it's going to go on really well. We're on to coat number three. Okay, so I've just done the third coat of paint. And I've actually thickened this even more. So it's still runny like this, but it seems to be not dripping on the actual wood. It actually feels a lot, a lot more like paint. Um, you know, when you're painting and you get to that stage where it starts to feel a bit sticky if you go over it too many times. Whereas before, I've, um, thickened, before I thickened it a little bit more, it was just literally like trying to paint with water. I think it's like Marion from Miss Mustard Seed says you just need to use trial and error and have a go until you get it right. So because this is my first piece, this is my trial and error and I'll know better the next time. So here it is after three coats of paint we're ready to do some sanding or chipping away. Now in Miss Mustard Seed's tutorials, you'll notice that she uses a scraper to just scrape off any flaky parts um, of the surface of the paint. Well, I'm really not seeing any on my piece here, although I did come across a few little pieces which I can show you later, which turned out really well. So I'm just going to go over with a really fine sandpaper, which is 240 grit, um, just around a sanding block, and just give it a light, a really light sand. And then we're going to dust it off and we'll get to some furniture polish and it should come up really nice. Here it's just starting to chip and flake away nicely just on the edges there where it's not sticking to the You'll notice here on the inside of the cupboard that it's chipped away really nicely, the paint has flaked away and that was just with a real gentle rub on the side here it actually came and that's more like what I've seen in Miss Mustard Seed's tutorial videos. So even though that looks a little dull right now, it, it's smooth because we've sanded it and it should polish and wax really nicely. You'll notice here you can start to see a bit of the dark wood coming through and that's got a really nice and smooth finish to it now. It takes away that chalky feeling. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe the whole thing free of dust and I've just I don't have Miss Mustard Seeds wax, but this is just from Bunnings if you're in Australia. It's just a furniture polish, Gillies Stevenson's Lemon Cream. You've got different furniture polishes, but it's basically got beeswax, carnauba wax, candelilla wax, and other natural ingredients. Um, and it's a good furniture wax because it's nice and soft. It's kind of like a bit buttery, really, I suppose. It's kind of got a wet consistency as opposed to really hard waxes. So you just get a little bit on your cloth. I'm just going to dab it in there. And just, what you're going to do is soak it with it. Go right into the wood grains. Do this with a brush as well. Uh, I'm just doing this first section here. As soon as you have that on, grab a clean cloth and we're going to wipe it and buff it. And you can feel it underneath the cloth, but it's really smooth shiny and slippery. 